Nestled in the hills and valleys of central Mexico is a small town named Tilancolpecan, meaning the land where the good water flows from the rocks. On the outskirts is the Tree of Life Center, a mission project serving the needs of the people living in rural areas. The mission is to bring appropriate technologies to people living in rural villages to help sustain and improve their quality of life. Muriel Henderson and her husband Terry are the founders of the Give Ye Them to Eat, or JITI program. Bishop Alejandro Ruiz, when he asked us to start this program in 1977, he uh, had asked if we could look for a way of serving people uh, in the rural sector, uh, addressing their, their needs. While there is a small creek that runs by the property, Fresh water is one of the many challenges they face. Not only rural Mexico, but much of the world. One of the goals of using this appropriate technology is to teach rural families to build and use an ecological toilet, which doesn't use any water. They are at a stage right now where they are developing where they need to, uh, because of health concerns, Cholera has come into Mexico in probably the last uh, 20 years where we never had it before. And so we have to be very cons concerned about the, uh, the sewage and what happens to it. This week, the center is hosting a work team from Chapelwood. There's always plenty to do, like putting a fresh coat of paint on the guest house. And since the center is off the beaten path, road work, that is, filling in the potholes with rocks and stones, is a never-ending project. The rainy season is over for this year, so irrigation is needed to keep the crops growing. On one morning, several team members built a small dam to redirect the runoff water from a field on high ground down the irrigation ditch to nourish the planted crops below. The ditch hadn't been used in eight months, but the dam was constructed just in time. Construction using readily accessible materials is also important. The center is teaching a relatively new technology to the area called straw bale construction, something that rural families can use to build homes cheaply that will last. The team also took part in several services at the local Methodist church. There are about 50,000 members of the Methodist church in Mexico with another 50,000 who attend services regularly. The Chapelwood team helped at one service performing a short teatro or theater skit during one of the services. And it's through these kind of relationships from churches like Chapelwood and others that help the Tree of Life Center continue to grow. Without our churches uh, back home, um, you would not have this ministry. And uh, the Lord leads us into ministry, all of us, uh, but we need to partnership and network with one another. We can't do this without you.